This video we're going to go through the meter that we use in class. This is the UEI G2 Phoenix Pro DL379 and this meter will cover everything that we need to use it for in class. So it's a nice little meter. I actually used it for 20 years when I was in the field. So We'll go through the different functions of it. Start at the top. So at the top we have Fahrenheit Celsius. So this thing will read temperature. If you look here, there's a plus and a minus and a little switch. That's actually blanked off in there, so I won't be able to get my meter leads or thermostat switch in there. One side is bigger than the other, so pay attention to that when you're trying to plug this in. So I actually have to flip that down which brings little shutters down over where your meter leads would go in because we don't want our meter leads plugged in. So I just plug that in and that will give me temperature. I'm going to flip that back up. We're going to plug in our meter leads. I try to put the red one on the red side. So they just push in. Next one down is microamps. Microamps we're going to use on checking flame sensors. Microfarads. So microfarads is how we check capacitor for their microfarad rating. We do not want power on while we're checking microfarads. We do not want any wires connected to our capacitor. You can see that I pulled the wires off of this capacitor so we can check it. So I'm going to put that in microfarads. And I can check the microfarad rating. So we're reading 14.72 microfarads. I just have one on one terminal, one on the other terminal. This is a 15 microfarad run capacitor, so that capacitor would be deemed good. Next down is continuity. So continuity, you'll hear me call it the beepy beepy part. Beepy beepy because when you put your leads together, it beeps. We use this to check switches, see if they're open or closed. It's just checking continuity to see if there's a continuous line of voltage uh, through a certain switch. Now notice when I have this apart, it says OL or over limit. Uh, that means there's no continuity through there. So if you're checking a switch, and you get OL, it's no different than if I hold my leads apart like this, no continuity. So if we look at this switch that I have here, I don't have any continuity through that switch. That's because that switch is off. Notice there's no power or anything hooked up to that. Now if I turn it on, I get continuity through there. So we're gonna use that to read uh, continuity through switches um, a lot in this class. Next one is our ohm meter. Our ohm meter is going to check resistance. I'm going to check the contactor coil. And I'm reading 311 ohms. So that's got good resistance there. I'm getting a reading out of it. So that would mean that that contactor coil is good. Again, notice that it says OL or over limit when I have my leads not touching. So if I were to put my leads here, it would still say that OL, that would mean that that contactor coil is bad. If I put it on there and I read zeros, that's gonna show that that contactor coil is bad. Next one down is volts. I'm gonna hook this back up. This is one of our trainers that we're gonna use in the lab. Kind of got a good uh, good amount of different projects that we can do with it. So I'm gonna put those leads back on. Struggling. Okay, so we got that in volts. Now it'll read direct current volts or alternating current. And we use alternating current most of the time in our class. 
uh, but it will do DC voltage also. Now it's not on here, but it also does amps. So if I'm using my leads and I go to check something, it's going to give me volts. If I use the clampy part, that's going to give me amps. So whether you're using the leads or the clamp determines whether it's going to give you volts or amps. Now, in order to check amperage, it has to be running. So we have zero amps there. We got my clamp on there. If I check this out, I have zero volts there because nothing is running. We don't have power on there. So if I power this up, you can see that contactor snap shut. I don't want that to touch any loose wires. But if I put my meter on here, it's going to read 115.3 volts. Now I'm getting a voltage reading because I am on two separate lines. I have one on the hot, one on the neutral. If I were to put them on the same line, I don't have any voltage readings. That would be like if I tried to check this wire here and here, I'm not going to get any reading. If I check here and here on the exposed wire, I would get a reading. So you have to be across the line to get a reading on that. I can clamp this on there. That gives us our amp draw. It's 4.7 amps. So, for continuity and ohms, power has to be shut off. Volts, amps, power has to be on. Microfarads, the capacitor needs to be isolated.